Nice, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, this one is for split charge relay. Uh, what I bought is some conduit cover to snap in. Um, the cable that came with the kit is shit, so I've used three core house cable, rated for 240 volts, so there'll be nothing for 12 volts. It'll be fine, no problems with that at all. I've run the ca uh, cable down past the fuel pump into a nice little clip that was already there. I've run it down the bottom there, you probably won't be able to see it but it's a shiny black one. I've run it into the chassis rail. Here we are on the other side. As you can see, the cable comes down here, all the way along. And this is how far I'm up to at the moment. So I've just got to put that all the way down to where the battery is going to be inside the vehicle. Which is quite far. It um, takes about five metres. So, get back to you in a minute once I've drilled the hole and put the cable through. I probably should explain how this split charge relay works in case you don't know. Basically, it's the wire from underneath the vehicle. It goes from the uh, from underneath here. I've not put the hole in yet. It goes all the way up to the front. Um, it connects directly to the battery. This goes in somewhere between and basically it is the positive from the battery and the negative can either go to the battery or can just go to bare metal to earth. Uh, this one has three outputs. Um, it has, I don't know if you can read that, it's a bit blurry this camera. Uh, 12 volt permanent live, it has a fridge or it has auxiliary battery. So we only need to put one, one in here. So in this side comes from the engine and this side one comes out and it goes straight to the positive on this battery. Uh, the negative on this battery, I've literally, I've just literally put that uh, negative lead on this quick release clamp. Oops. So that goes off there. It then clamps in place. Uh, I'm not sure that's clamped properly, but oh yeah, it is. And then the other end, I'll grind some of this off or well, this off here. In fact, it's got a bolt there, a bolt. So it's got rivet. It's got thread on the other side. So I'll probably just find a bolt that fits that. Grind this metal off here. Grind this paint off so it's metal. And that's the earth side of it done. Now I just need to find a good sized drill bit. I'm going to drill straight through this floor. But I've got to be careful because directly underneath here is um, on the brakes, uh, wires, cables, um, hydraulics. Everything's under here. So I need to be careful where I drill. I know the chassis, the chassis rail is about here. So I don't want to go hit that either really. So I'm probably going to go somewhere around here. So I'm just going to use the end of this wheel arch as a, as a guide. Uh, there will be a chassis rail that comes, uh, a support that comes straight down here and straight across. So when I get underneath, I'm going to look for the edge, the right hand edge of this and the front of this. So my hole is probably going to be somewhere around about here. So I'm just going to go underneath now and check the best place to drill a hole. Well, I'm under the van and as predicted there is a support beam going across the floor and there's the wheel well, so that's the edge of it. And I said I was going to put it somewhere around here. Um, so I, tr I don't really want to go through this little support here that will come back a little bit and go through here so edge of the wheel arch there it's about ooh, let's have a look one two middle of three fists I should get a tape measure really 
But I'm just showing you, if you didn't have a tape measure, that's how you do it. Right, now I'm just um, I'm just testing the voltage on this main battery, 12.65 volts. Um, simply because I've just temporarily put that on there. I was trying to think what fuse that is. That's a 20 amp fuse. I've only used one core of this cable. That's all I need. It's thick enough. Um, so I've used a 20 amp fuse and I've connected to the battery temporarily. And, and I'm going to go to the other end of the wire and make sure there's no, um, no losses. Now I will get a bit of loss because that's not down tight. So. As long as we get over 12 volts, I'll be happy with that, and then I'll know that there's probably nothing wrong with the cable itself. But better to do this first, otherwise, I have to take it all out again. Okay, so at the other end now, just plug the uh, voltmeter into one end of the wire, and I found a bare spot here, rusty, probably not the best place, but uh, there we go 12.65, no voltage loss at all. Happy with that. Right, this is uh, the final hookup to the main battery. It's uh, down nice and tight. Taking the fuse out for now, don't need it in just yet. Um, I've put red tape around this um, plastic conduit um, just in case somebody else works on the van. Red use the means live and it's going straight to the light, battery live anyway. So, um, And I put a bit, little bit more down there. Should anyone need to follow it, it's, uh, it's nice and easy to follow then. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, I didn't have time to finish off yesterday. So I've, uh, I've drilled, the, drilled the floor, got the wire up. I've um, fixed the earth in place there. And that's for the battery earth. That's for the earth off the split charge relay. Uh, just testing to make sure Everything's fine. I've just tested the battery. The battery's still okay. Now I'm going to test to make sure there's no power. Oh, there's no power coming from the battery through through the charge through the uh, split relay. It's already uh, it's already been uh, wired. So, put the fuse in at the front, at the front of the battery, front engine, so there should be nothing. So, that's good, it's not doing anything there. So now I'm just going to start the engine and uh, see the voltage jumps up on this battery. Right, there should be power coming through now. 14.1618. So that's taking a charge now. So that will, as soon as I clip that onto that battery, that battery, battery will be charging. Jobs are good. Okay, so just doing another test to make sure everything's okay, <coughs> and it's still all okay. As you can see, this battery is fully connected now. So just to go through it again because I do uh, tend to skip things uh, we have we have um, 12 volts in and that's directly from the battery at the front of the vehicle it goes via a 20 amp fuse there about 2 inches away goes into this box out to the other side of the box and then um, so it goes out of the box this is live still I'm talking about goes out of that box down there and into the body 
in, into the end, uh, from battery, sorry. You have the negative, which goes from negative to the chassis. There's also a negative from the chassis there. I know it's the wrong colour, but I'll change that. Uh, negative from the chassis to the uh, split charge relay box. And that's it. It's quite simple. Um, it's quite simple to do. Not rocket science, but a couple of hours and it'll be done. So I'll just make sure. Oh, hang on a minute. There you go. It's going up. So it's not a difficult job. It's pretty easy to be honest. Um, anyone should be able to do that. Thanks for watching. One last job. It's covered a cable tie, everything all nice and neat now. Um, so everything secured, nothing gets cut off, uh, nothing gets pulled off. Um, you don't want this wire snagging on anything really. If it gets caught in the wheels, it'll just rip it straight out. Okay, as you can see, all I've done is um, zip tied it on. Uh, I've avoided zip tying it to any. Uh, any hydraulics, um, just in case they move and cause uh, cause it to rub on on anything else. Not with anything splitting. So that's it. I think that is job done this time.